Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am giving you a details about IBM SQL and Relational Database Certification. As we know, all the IBM certification are your gateway to mastering the latest technology and standing out in your career. So just go to Cognitive Class website, click on cognitiveclass.ai. So see here, uh, here you will get 100 plus courses, 20 plus learning path and 300 plus project. Now for SQL and relational database certification purpose, just search here SQL. Wait a minute. Okay. Now on the basis of SQL, there are total three types of courses. See here, this is your first course. SQL and Relational Database course. As a beginner, this certificate significantly boosts your career. This certification is a great start as a beginner for your career. So just click on this course. Now see here, SQL and Relational Database course and 4.6 rating is there and 122k students are enrolled for this course. As a beginner, this is the best course for you. Now, when you first sign in uh, to this particular website, so you will get the option here, login. I have already signed in there, so I have get the option go to class, right? So just click on this option. Wait a minute. Okay, so click on the course option here. Right. Now see here SQL and relational database course. And uh, this is all the details about this course. First, you will get uh, some syllabus, some learning objectives about this course. Now in module one, you will learn about introduction to SQL and relational database, different data models, types of relationships, mapping entities to tables, some uh, relational model concepts about this. Also, you will get some practical approach here. Then second module is related to the relational model constraints and data objects here you will learn about in detail in advanced relational model concepts with some assignments and practical approaches there now the third module the third module concluded all the ddl and dml commands these commands are useful for creating the database to create table then uh, to insert different types of data in table also, you will learn about different uh, select, update, delete, these kinds of commands. After completing every module, you will get the three questions. You need to solve this. All the questions are MCQ type. Now, in fourth module, you will get the concept of some advanced DDL and DML commands. So this is a short and basic videos, right? Here you will learn about different string patterns, ranges, sets, then uh, sorting result sets, grouping result sets, right? Now the next is last module, module 5. So module 5 is completely related to the relationship between different multiple tables. Means in particular database, how to join multiple tables, how to perform inner join, outer join operations. So you will also learn all these things. So for beginner level, this is the best course for you. At the end, you will get the course summary. And after that, there is a final exam. So in final exam, there are total 20 questions and you have required 50% marks for these questions. All the questions are multiple choice type and there is a one hour timing for solving this particular question. You can also attempt a retake for this exam. So at the end, you need to give a particular feedback for this course and after completing all these modules, final exam, you can claim your certificate by IBM. So this is the best course for the beginner level and every module you will directly download their uh, PPTs, their videos. They also provide this all kind of functionalities. So this is the SQL and relational database course. So just see here and this is the three hours course. Okay. Total three hours are required. You complete this course as per your timing. Now we'll see here. Uh, there are two instructors like Sandeep uh, Joy and uh, Rao Ahuja. So these instructors are also well qualified like Cognitive Data Science, Global Program Directors, right? 
so as a beginner this is a best course for you like sql and relational database after completing certificate you can upload your certificate on linkedin profile and also you can mention this certification in your resume this will definitely beneficial for you so do complete this course thank you keep learning